Tally Ho Internet. My name is VXE, and welcome to day three of Madvent 3. Oh my gosh, it's threes everywhere. What do we have in store this time? I've just realized that it's the different faces of each tower. Do they know? Simple search fire would load you on to something that was never meant to be found. This one sounds like it's gonna be creepy. Let's go. Let's jump in. Day three. Madvent day three. There we go. Hello? Hollis? Click. Spacebar. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, Papa? Ah, good. You're awake. We have a busy day ahead of us. The Mondig feast is upon us and we'll need your help around the village. Okay, Papa. I'll get ready. Make sure to dress warm. It's cold here today. Well, thank you, Paul Paul. Oh, tank controls. The happy music is very disarming. Can I go to bed? No? All right. Okay, sure. Okay, I'll pick up my coat. Large enough to cover... Large enough to cover my whole body. Very comfy around the head. Is that... Large enough to cover them all. No, Jesus Christ. Is this telling me that it would be better played with a gamepad? Oh man. Yeah, this is definitely going to be better with a gamepad. Up and down with the left and right trigger of all things. Uh, I should get dressed in my warm clothes before heading out there. How do I do that? How do I get dressed? Oh, gloves. Okay. Helps me find things buried in thick snow while keeping my hands... My arm's warm. <laughs> okay. That button. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's go. Can't wait to go and impress my paw paw. There you are. Ready to go? Yes, paw paw. I've been waiting for the festival all year. Well, shouldn't be much longer now. Before we get things started, I'll need you to attend to some of the preparations. Here, take stock of everything in this bag of goodies. Yep. It's heavy. Whoa there, careful now. Right, I need you to put the candles in the lanterns, take the glider of the young Fabio, take the cup to the chef Bitica so you can taste test his soup, and make sure that you deliver each of these gifts boxes to all the villagers here before the night's feast. Are you sure that coat is warm enough? Yes, Papa, I'm fine. All right, all right. Remember, once you've emptied that bag, come and find me in front of the banquet hall and I'll let you know if anything else needs doing. Off you go now. I'm kind of going a little bit goofy there. <laughs> These should be delivered to villagers who are standing outside their homes. This should go inside one of the empty unlit lanterns in the village. The younger kids will throw these so the heat from the fire pit makes them fly and spread the plant seeds inside. I should fill this cup up at the soup hut to test it for the chef. Hope the chef doesn't poison us. I can't tell if this is going to be terrifying or wholesome. Hello, strange child. Give the paper glider to Fabio. Yay, the glider! Shoom! In the distance. Mama, have you seen my doll? I guess we've got to give a doll to the girl. Oh, is this a- this is another hut. Oh, but I can't go inside. Well, these are all huts. Gotcha, okay. Why is there a picture of a hand here? What does that mean? Does it mean do touch or don't touch? Are you good there, sir? Many thanks. <coughs> sure. Oh, there are unlit lanterns. Okay, which ones are those? Ah, the purple ones. Oh! They turned around. Okay. We've lit that lantern. 
Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Dana? Hey, greetings, young one. Greetings indeed. Hope you're well. It's going to be difficult coming up with voices for every different character. So maybe I won't do that. Rufus, here's your gift. Here you go, Rufus. I hope this helps. Oh, sign language. You're very welcome. Are you feeling any better? Yes, a bit better. Run along now. Sickness will surely catch. Uh-oh. There's sickness in this here village. Everyone's going to turn into zombies. These controls are, uh... I really wish I could use the analog stick. You are creepy looking. That's hollow. Thank you! My, doesn't the sky beam look simply spectacular tonight? Mm-hmm. Looks even brighter than last year, Harlow. You know, I could have sworn I saw a piece of it fall off earlier while I was tending to the stables here. Came down like a shooting star. Everyone thinks I'm full of it, though. Interesting. What are you referring to? Whoa! We're on a completely different planet. We're on a ringed planet. I like the snow footstep sounds, they're very nice. Very pleasant. Oh, it's you. Hey, Mahala. Thanks again, kid. Welcome. I want to understand the dark heart. Oh, this is the hot drink meeting point. I don't know what these signs are about. Because there was another sign over here. So what was this? What was this one? I don't think there's a run button. Uh, it's uh, a happy face with big eyebrows and a huge forehead. I don't know. Oh, you're different. Who are you? Oh, it's Fabio. Right, okay. Well, never mind then. Hey, Paul Pa. I have not finished giving out all of these things yet. I am on my way. Don't you worry about me. I am going to make you a proud paw paw. Uh, hello. Lipa. Oh my, are you sure? I'll have to get a gift for you next time then. Don't worry about it, Lipa. I get a feeling that we're not going to last long enough for that this year. Don't ask me how I know. I just do. I can feel it in my jellies. Oh... <gasps> Oh my god, look at these little plumps. Mr. and Mrs. Lau. Here are your gifts. Ah, so kind of you, young one. Hollis, was it? That's right, Mr. Lau. I hope it's not too much trouble, but we actually have a gift that needs to be delivered as well. Oh yes, to the family just across from us. Of course. I will, I, of course I will. Don't worry about it, Mrs. Lau. If you don't mind my asking, what is it? It's a book full of stories and images passed down from our ancestors. Why'd you want to... You see, we don't have many festivals left between us, and we were thinking that their children would appreciate holding memories of the past just as we did, even if they aren't their own. It's a lovely gift. I'd be glad to deliver it for you. You have our thanks, Hollis. Their house is just opposite our own. Do you take care now. For the large family that migrated over, the story is called The Magic Mist. What the hell is that picture on the back? Also, the cover says The Magic Dust. That doesn't say mist, that says dust. That definitely says dust. Okay. just across from so I guess it's gonna be this one here then right but there's no one in there well 
large family just across from us. Could you not have, like... Maybe it's not that one. Okay. That's lit. It's lit, bro. That is lit. Sure wish I could sprint. Right, so that we're back at the hand symbol. I don't know if they're like districts. Large family just across from us. Do they mean like the opposite side of town? Do we know where the large family who emigrated here are? Do we know where they are? Because I have to deliver something to them. Something's got to stand out, right? Oh, the chef. Ah, uh, Hollis, you brought your own cup. Ready to taste soup for the Mandig Fest tonight? Sure am, Caster. Great. It's been served hot and fresh from my serving case here. Just reach inside, have a little sip, and let me know what you think. In the distance. Doll, where are you? Sniffle, where is this little girl? Hmm, it's delicious, Caster. That's good to hear. I hope everyone else feels the same. Last year's soup didn't go over quite so well. I'm sure they'll love it, Caster. I'll see you at the fire pit later. I've been helping my pawpaw out a lot tonight. Well now, I'm true busy one. See you later then. Thanks for the soup. Nice soup. Still don't know where his family is. Okay, what is this big door? Can't interact with it. Can I speak to you guys again? Did I give you guys gifts? Greetings again, Hollis. Indeed, what have you got there, dear? Oh, okay, right. It did not make that very, very clear that it was these two that I was looking for. This is a gift for Mr. and Mrs. Lau just across the way. Oh, for us? And your children, too. They wanted to pass down what they learned about the old world so you could learn about it, too. Hope you like it. A book on the old world? Goodness. Could we even accept such a gift? You sure they're okay to be parting with something of such importance? Certainly. Here you go, Mrs. Donna. It might be Ohana, I can't tell. It's probably Ohana. No, that looks like Donna. That looks like a D. Incredible. These look just like our gliders only larger. You're right. We'll have to gather the, the kids and go through all of this together after the feast. You have our deepest thanks, dear Hollis. Don't let us keep you. It's no trouble at all, Mr. Donna. See you at the feast. Okay. So I think I've done all of the lanterns. There's a real big shadow cast across that. Has that always been there? Or is that a new thing? Pal Pal, the deliveries are all done. Are we re ready to start? Not yet, Hollis. We still need firewood for the pie. <laughs> oh shit, here we go. The gatherer hasn't come back yet. Is everything all right? Actually, he never left. Mahala was too ill this year. Hollis, I've been doing some thinking. How would you like to be this year's firewood gatherer? R really Go out into Thussoff Woods all by myself? All by yourself. You keep growing faster than I can keep track. It's a great responsibility, but I know you can handle it. I would love to, Papa. But what about the head seer? We've already spoken, and they've given their full support. The old gatherer hasn't been the same since the autumn winds came. A shame is what it is. But never mind that. There is a fire to be made. Yes, I won't let you down, Papa. Be careful, Hollis. Remember to keep inside of the brightest star to avoid getting lost. I love you. Haha, <laughs> I love you too, Papa. Stop stalling. Yeah, all right, all right. The woods aren't going anywhere. Here, best take that empty bag with you. 
Let's see you off through the gate to Thussoff Woods. Good luck now, and be careful. Yes. Afra, yes. We can look for your dolly Afra. Oh, the little girl. We can look for your dolly Afra, but we can't be too long about it. Hollis will be back soon with the firewood. Sorry about that, Hollis. You know how the young ones are with their little toys. Where is it? Who's the little girl? Uh, ah, my grandfather used to live in the Thussoff Woods. I wonder if his old cabin is still there. That sounds like foretelling. Ah, look at you. The head seer made a right proper choice with this one, didn't they? My ma always said, uh, my ma always loved those Thussoff Woods. She was all broken up when we had to leave. Said it was going against our ancestors' wishes. Well now. Hollis, is it? That's right. Cool. <laughs> right then. As the previous gatherer, <coughs> let me give you a piece of advice. Keep to the path wherever it goes. Our ancestors tore up the ground when they used to live out there. Said the soil was sick. It's all <coughs> loose now, like fresh snow. Any heavy steps in the wrong place and you might slip under. Easy prey. Pray? For what? Couldn't tell you exactly. Never got to know for sure if there was anything still out there. Guess that's why they don't usually send little ones out to do this stuff, right? Oh. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> look at me scaring the new kid who... Hey, look. It's probably nothing. The thus off woods may be in intimidating the first few times, but you'll get the hang of it. If you do find anything, though, you come right back here as soon as you can. You ready to do this? I, I won't let you down, Mahala. There now, that's the spirit. Hey, take this here hat before you go. You can think of it as a little badge of honor. Some artifact from the past or something. I ain't so sure what the folks around here think it means. But they gave it to me when I first started. So I suppose it's yours now. Oh, thank you, Mahala. It's quite soft. It'll keep you Nagam warm. Good luck, kid. Best be quick about it now. Feels like there's a storm coming. Soft hat. It's quite soft. Oh boy, here we go into the thus off woods. Why do we live in a gigantic gated community? It sounded like a crow calling or something. Just want to make sure I still have plenty of recording time. Smoke. A scary noise. Also the. Oh my god, it's everywhere. I wonder if this is the cabin. I'm sure those noises are nothing. I mean, yeah, they're increasing in frequency, but... Sturdy and tough. This will keep... Help keep the fire pit burning. Oh, is this the woods? Am I just supposed to be searching around here? I get a feeling I've got to head over here. Maybe someone else is having their own fire pit burning thing. Is that from the scar beam? Oh god, it's aliens. Oh no, it's aliens. Scar piece. Piece of the sky. Someone said they saw this fall from the sky beam. I thought it would look more like a rock, but it doesn't. I feel very lucky. Why lucky? What the hell is out here? It said I would find something that shouldn't be found. 
Also, it's getting kind of dark. Oh, that's a wall. I can't climb up there. I have to continue this way. This is super tense. What am I going to find? I'm going to pick up that wood if you don't mind. Okay, the music has completely changed, Neil. Kind of sounds like something out of Portal 2. Definitely unsettling. Oh, it's big wood. I keep pressing the wrong bloody buttons to look up and down. Right, so it's left trigger up, right trigger down. I need to I need to remember that somehow. This music is pretty cool. Is that another scar piece? Oh, tiny doll. That girl said this is what her lost doll looked like, but this can't be the same one, right? Is that a car? It is a car. Is this a post-human society? Kind of running out of wood. It's getting super dark now. Can't really see very far ahead of me. Let's go right. Right is always right. Except when it's the only way left. It's been a while since I played anything scary, so apologies if I'm being a baby. It's because I'm a baby. There's a lot of shuffling going on. Right is always right. Except when it's not. I literally cannot see in front of me right now. Things must have fallen out of the bag. Oh no, how am I gonna wait? What's that beyond that? What? Why is it glowing? Oh. Am I still collecting wood? Okay. What the hell is going on in this game? Is this the the mystic mist? The magic mist? Dust? Whatever that word was from that book. There are definitely some secrets going on here. Some some uncomfortable truths to uncover. What is that? Is that a hat? 
thin yellow bowl. It has the same ridge as my hat. The same ridge as your hat. Okay. Are we going full cosmic horror in this right now? Because that is going to be so cool. If that's the case. Because that looks more like, a, like an obelisk or something. Oh, is that a plane? This feels too heavy to throw across the fire pit. There's not even any seeds in this thing. What is going on? Is that another plane? I really, really wish that I could uh, sprint. I feel very unsafe. Feels too heavy to throw across the fire pit. What is this? Is this like a big underground power plant or something? Or is it aliens? This place, it feels somehow familiar, I guess. It's because you are all descendants of the... This says something. What does it say? Oh my gosh! It goes all the way around. I can't quite make out what it's actually supposed to say though. I can't quite read it. Something to do with like some ancient spacefaring civilization though, which I am totally here for. Another bowl. I don't know if it's like the resolution of the text on the ground or just like the resolution of the game itself, but it's too difficult to see what it is. And there's like, like a ton of like pizza planet symbols on the wall there. And that's a radioactive barrel. Am I not going to get a bird's eye view of what any of this says? Strange clothes? These clothes look like mine, but thinner. They wouldn't help at all against the cold. And I can't get up here, can I? Oh, sky piece, there we go. Who managed to get all these sky pieces and how? We must not fall all the world... Something. This is the... This is the... House... Of... This is the house of what? Another doll? <laughs> Another doll. This is 100% aliens. Or radioactive aliens. What the hell? That hand. I wonder who this door was meant for. What about it? It looks like a normal hand to me. What are all these chains? Do I have to go down here?
It's a suit. These clothes look like mine, but thinner. So that it's like a has it's a hazmat suit. There's white stuff everywhere. It looks like snow, but it feels rough and warm. Strange. I love that word. It feels rough and warm. Strange, huh? How have all these lanterns been burning for so long? Did my ancestors light them? This has taken a very unexpected turn. Was I meant to come down here? What for? The people back home must probably be wondering where I am right now. So I can't go up. I just have to keep going down. I'm I'm kind of speechless right now, honestly. Keep going. Oh, that one's open. Is that a diggy room? These things all look like the presents back home. Did someone leave them here for me? I could never get them all back and open them by myself. You mean these red things? Are they warheads? Do you guys gift each other nuclear warheads? Oh my god, Mahala has radiation poisoning. The drawing on this door, it reminds me of that doll. I am flabbergasted. If this is all like one big commentary on nuclear Armageddon, I'm totally here for it. Oh, they are 100% shells. They're like warhead shells. Hello? Like, I can hear creaking, but I can't tell if I can also hear a voice. This is... wild. Oh, I totally went the wrong way. I mean, you guys know I love Metal Gear, so, like, nuclear anything in video games is just so awesome. Okay, I thought that was, like, a woman's voice, but I think it's just, like, the, the clanking of chains far off in the distance. These stairs that go all the way down. So I don't think these other... They don't seem to be doors that go anywhere. Or anything like that. It's a slide. Okay. What does any of this do? I'm scared. I can't reach the... Wait! My arms are stuck! Help!
So this kid just stumbled upon, like, the remnants of a nuclear society and then just crushes himself to death trying to get dolls. What do the dolls mean? That was awesome. I really enjoyed this. That was so cool. That was really cool. So these developers here, Kevin Culler, Stage Fright, Eldritch Renaissance Cake, Sky, and Myrna Chapra. Really, really cool. Super, I, I don't really have much more to say to that other than just what, a, what an incredible experience. So like this, it's just like a like a spacefaring society or something, or the remnants of a nuclear society who, I guess, at some point made it, at the very least, the orbit of the planet in amongst the like the planet's rings. And then something very bad happened. That was cool.